In this part, we will discuss how to solve and review math problems at PhotoMath Workplace. I will present you a couple of example tasks to make you clear about solving procedures. At PhotoMath Workplace, you can earn money by two ways, either by solving math problems or by reviewing math problems. Review means that the question is solved by someone else, you only review it. That either this question is solved correctly and according to PhotoMath standards. Actually, reviewing question is easy as compared to solving questions and you can earn more by reviewing tasks. But in the beginning, when you become a math expert, you cannot review questions. You can only solve questions. But when you get enough experience, then you will receive an email from PhotoMath team that you are going to become a reviewer. And then you have to complete the review training to become a reviewer. The question is how many tasks are required to be solved to become a reviewer. If you solve at least 80 tasks with 80% accuracy, then you will qualify for reviewer. Now let's review a math task in order to get clarity. This is the review task which I am going to review and I will get $0.86 to review this question. The statement of the question is. Write the equation of the line with slope 3 that passes through the point 50, 200 in slope intercept form. So in the first step, substitute the given point and slope in the slope intercept form. Hint is attached. Actually, these hints are very useful for math expert. It saves time and you know time is money. So the hint is of slope intercept form. And in the second step, rewrite the equation in slope intercept form using PM solver. The last step is the solution step. As this solution is correct in all respects, so I am going to mark this as OK and rate with 4 stars. So now let's solve a question. As to get a clear idea about solving procedure, hints, and PM solver, and learn how to make graphs, tables, etc. So this is the question which I am going to solve. It's a calculus task and worth of this task is $2.34. In this task, a revenue function is given and we have to graph this revenue function using graphing utility. And also confirm the results of part A and B using this graph. Part A and B are also given. So take this task. In the first step, write the given revenue function. And copy this function and paste in GeoGebra. Observe that the function appears, but we have to adjust the reviewing window for clear view. For this, go to setting and adjust Y scaling. Go back and check that T limit is from 4 to 13. So now apply the T limit using if command in GeoGebra. Drag to adjust the weighing window. So now change the color as red color is not allowed in PhotoMath. Uh, recall that only three colors are allowed in PhotoMath, which are blue, which is the primary color, green, which is a secondary color, and the third color, which is orange, and which is a tertiary color. Adjust the X and Y scaling. Export the image. Compress the image using any online compression tool as the size of the image should be less than 100 KB. Add a new visual sequence. Use the blue color for this function as the corresponding color of the graph is also blue. Import the image here. Similarly, answer the part A and B. Now, take a look at the whole solution.
Now I am going to submit the solution. This solution will be reviewed at two levels. If this solution is correct, then I will get $2.34. And the photomath expert who reviewed this task will get half of this. Means he will get $1.15. Let's solve another question. The statement of question is draw a graph of f that shows all the important aspects of the curve estimate the local maximum and minimum values and then use calculus to find these values exactly use the graph of f double prime to estimate the inflection points similar type of task is given in the example you can import data from this example and modify according to the task the function given in example is different, so write the new function. Copy the new function. Second derivative is computed using the PM solver, so replace the function. Hence, the second derivative is computed. Step 3 is OK. Compute the y intercept by substituting the x is equal to 0. To get an idea of the graph, let's plot on GeoGebra. Zoom the window. By observing at the graph, decide how many points would be sufficient to construct the graph. Start from minus 2 and take the interval of 0.25. The x values would be minus 2, minus 1.75, minus 1.5 and so on up to 1.25. So now make a table. Select the table from top menu. A new tab will open. Make 8 rows and 4 columns. To write the numbers in latex, enclose the number with dollar sign. Check the preview. Complete the table. Download the table. Import the table in the solution. This image is from the previous example. Remove these images. Let's go back to GeoGebra. Add the points. Hide the labels. Change the color. Adjust the window for proper view. Compress the image. Download and import the image into the solution. Now check the power of PM solver. You can find x intercept, y intercept, derivative, extreme values. So let's select the extreme values. Add these extreme points into the graph. Change the color. Similarly, graph the second derivative. Now the solution is completed. Take a look at this. Submit the solution. If we talk about photomath payments, photomath payments are processed every Thursday. In order to get paid, you have to create a Pioneer account and link it to photomath. The minimum threshold for payout is $50, which means that if you have earned $50 or more, then these dollars will be transferred into your Pioneer account on Thursday. If you want to become a photomath expert, then in the beginning, you face some difficulties. 
in passing training process. But even after becoming a photomath expert, you have to work hard to become a photomath reviewer. Once you become a reviewer, then you will get the real reward of your hard work. Best of luck for the photomath journey. Keep on watching. I am showing you some other solved tasks.